Hi there, I'm Jess and today I'm going to show you a really simple body butter recipe that just takes three ingredients that you can customize for any season. So if you wanted to make like a Christmas, birthday, Halloween, Easter, whatever else, you can do that with this recipe. So I'll take you step by step on how to do it right now. The three ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe are you're going to need cocoa butter, shea butter, and coconut oil, and then whatever fragrance you want to use. You'll need a kitchen scale like this, and then I like to use my KitchenAid mixer uh, bowl to measure everything into and just spray it with some uh, disinfectant like alcohol and then wipe it down so it's nice and clean and ready to go. You can melt this recipe or like melt the ingredients um, so you'll put them in the bowl here and then you'll need to fill up the bottom of your pot with water and this will make like a double boiler so you can melt all the ingredients together like that. Now if it is winter time where you are and your coconut oil is frozen like this or not frozen but like solid like this what you can do is just put it in a a container of hot water and melt it before you pour it into your bowl to melt it on the stove and it just makes up measuring it so much easier. So I'm I'm just boiled my kettle here and I'm just melting melting my coconut oil in my pot where I'm going to be doing my melting with my double boiler. Now this is a really simple three-part recipe so what you want to do is you want to put equal parts of coconut oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter all together. And just a tip, if you buy in cocoa butter, don't buy it in giant blobs like this. It's so hard to work with. Just buy like the little, you know, how you can buy little cube things of it. That's not the right word, but it's so much easier to work with. For my recipe, when I mean equal parts, you can put any variety of amount that you'd like in. In this particular example, I'm going to be using 200 grams of each ingredient for this recipe and, well, I should say formulation. So this is a really, really great one if you're new to making body butter and you've never made it before because you can't screw this one up if you follow along exactly with what I do. It will come out perfectly for you. And look at that, it's so much easier to work with now. We're just gonna take our oils and butters now and just put it onto our double boiler and just let it melt. This is melting now. I wanna talk about the fragrance and how much you should add into your butter to make it smell good. So. I wouldn't recommend using more than 3% of fragrance oil or essential oil in this. So you can use one to 3%. So what you wanna do is you take your total volume. So in this case, I use 600 grams. And then you wanna times that weight by either 1%, which is 0 0.01, which is going to equal six grams or 2% is 12 grams and 3% is 18 grams. So you just take your weight of your total volume and then you times it by 0 0.01, 0 0.02 or 0 0.03, depending on how much percentage of essential oil or fragrance oil that you want in your finished product. I'm just going to weigh out now into my beaker. I'm going to use a 2% um, essential oil and I'm going to be using a lavender essential oil to scent this body butter. So I'm just going to measure out into my beaker 12 grams now. Now when you add the fragrance, you can do it either after the, the liquid has cooled. This is what I meant by the liquid when the butters and the waxes and have um, 
the oils, I should say. There's no waxes in this. They have um, cooled and they're still liquid. So not right away after you take it off the heat, but, um, you know, after it's cooled down a little bit. Mine has solidified overnight, which is fine. And I am going to add my fragrance oil, or this is my essential oil, the fragrance to this when I start to mix it. So I'm not just going to dump it on top right now because it will just sit on top and not really do anything. I have my my butter now on my mixer and what I'm going to do is just lower the top and begin mixing. At this point I haven't added my fragrance oil yet but I just wanted to show you to see here this line when you are mixing your butter you need to make sure that you're not having inconsistent mixing happening so here is where it's getting light and fluffy and here is where it's still stuck to the bowl so a very simple fix is just to scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl and to loosen up the bottom butters Stop and scrape down the side of your bowl every once in a while to make sure that the body butter is whipping consistently. It's about now where I'm going to start adding the fragrance oil to this. This butter is soft. It doesn't have any hard chunks anymore and it's starting to be consistent, consistent with its whip without being like part of it isn't soft and part of it isn't hard. So right now is where I'm going to start adding the fragrance oil and then whip it till it's a nice soft consistency. You'll be able to tell when your whip is changing to a lighter, to a softer consistency when it changes to a whiter color. So just keep stopping and scraping down the sides of your bowl, making sure everything goes back into the middle and then continue whipping your recipe. And you see at the bottom of your bowl here, you'll get these like darker areas. That is the butters that haven't been whipped yet. And you can see how they go wider as they're whipped. So what you need to do is just watch your butter as you're going along, stop and scrape down the sides of it, and then begin whipping some more. If you want an approximation on the time that it will take you to whip this, it is about 10 minutes on high speed. That is what I do to get mine, but different times of the year will have different variations on timing. Like if it's warmer, it will take less time to whip. But you're looking for a nice, soft, fluffy consistency like this that's nice and white. And now we're ready to package it. For the next part of this video to package it, what you need is some tins. You can use large tins or you can use small tins. It doesn't matter what size of tins you use. You're going to need a little spray bottle with some alcohol in it. And what you do is you need to spray out the bottoms and the lids with some alcohol and then give them a rub with a paper towel to disinfect them before you spoon in your body butter. Also sanitize your spoon that you're going to be scooping your body butter out with before you start. Now if you are making these body butters to sell you need to have a scale that you can weigh um, that will fit like your tin on top of that you can weigh out your body butter into. That is precision scale. This is a precision scale and then I'm going to weigh out 90 grams into this tin. In Australia, one of the requirements to sell products is that you weigh out and you have the measurement of the weight in your tins for your products. And there you can see I have 92 grams of body butter in this tin and it's a lot easier to do this right after you've whipped it, it um, settles into the tin a lot nicer. So don't wait to package your tins. Do it right away, right after you've whipped it. When you're done, you should be, this recipe that I showed you made um, six 90 gram tins. So 
Um, you should have six 90 gram tins ready to go. And of course, a little bit of extra for yourself because it's always nice that when you make things that you keep a little bit for yourself so you can spoil yourself as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you have any questions or you're having any troubles with anything, please leave a comment below and I will help you through your issues that you're having. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy this next video here. Take care. Bye.